Hey, my fancy freaks. How y'all doing out there in fancy land? As y'all know, I am fancy, and we have my first official guest of 2022 on the Fancy Talk Show, Mr. What are we going to call you? I'm Gerald Houston. Gerald Houston. You got that right there. You can't read. Uh, y'all know he's she a comedian. Y'all know we freaks over here. Okay, I can read. Okay, we ain't going to get started with him with this. Okay, we definitely. Okay, his mom gonna be watching, so we're gonna get into some things tonight, okay? Y'all, we're gonna give y'all a good 30 minute segment. So go ahead and grab y'all drinks, y'all glasses, and let's get this started. So just to start the show, y'all know I like to always just take a little shot of something. Of course, thank you to Corey at Shot Bottles Texas in Houston, Edo downtown, for always being my great liquor sponsors. Tonight we have the drink choice of Rain Cucumber. It's a gluten-free vodka with natural flavors. So, of course, Gerald's not going to take a shot, but I'm going to take it, and I'll let y'all know what it tastes like. Why are you going to tell everybody I'm not taking a shot? Well, come on, take it with me. No, I'm not taking a okay, shot. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. I don't drink this. Ooh, yeah, it's good. Ooh, it's actually, like, sweet. Maybe you can mix it up with something. It's really good. It's real, real good. So, Gerald over here, of course, sparking up, so that's fine. So, to, um, just to... Look at this big-ass ladder you gave me. You'll be okay. Okay, y'all. So, of course, to just get him warmed up and get him in the mood. Y'all know we have my good girl, Toya, who does, who has the magic hands, the massage hands. So, we got Toya. Come on, my baby. She's going to come over here and get Jared in the mood. You about to get just a little shoulder massage just to get you loosened up, to get us going up in here. Why he, you know, smoke his little stuff. I'm about to get a happy idiot. So, again, I'm going to definitely tag my girl, Toya, right here. Tell him, hey, Toya. This is Toya with House of Hot. She has that good old spa I told y'all about um, in Houston, Texas. I'm going to tag tag her um, down below and make sure you follow her on all platforms. And of course, you have the pleasure of watching her give him a massage as we start off with these six questions. So we're about to get all into your business. You ready? All into my business. All into your business. Oh, okay. How did massage feel so far? It feels pretty good. Pretty good or good good? It's good. It's cool. You know, it's cool. She getting into the deep tissues. You know? She getting into the deep tissues. Okay. Okay, well, let's start off with massages then. So, how often do you get massages, if any? Uh, how often do I get massages? Mm hmm. Uh, not often. So, you don't, your women don't give you massages? Uh, nah, not really. I'm usually the one doing the massaging. So, how you like to massage? I like to take all their clothes off, get butt ass naked, lay down, and get some oil, some nice little baby oil gel or whatever. Don't irritate their skin. You know, black girls got stuff to irritate their skin, so you gotta watch mm -hmm. what you put on them because you irritate their skin. You ain't get no booty, no pussy. I can say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say that. No pussy that night irritate their skin. Mm -hmm. So that's how that go. So Astra, Astra. That, there you go right there. Okay, so if they had to give you a massage though, what kind of massage would you like? Butt naked. Butt naked? Yeah, so, butt naked. what is, have you ever had an anal massage? What? <laughs> you never had an anal massage? <laughs> anal massage. <laughs> yeah. No, anal massage. So, an anal massage basically gets you prepared to get your ass licked. Oh, I ain't never had one. You ain't never had one of them? Nah. Yeah, so they basically take their hand, they massage both of your ass cheeks, right? And then they start, they take their finger and go up and down your butt crack to oh. get you ready to, you know, know somebody to go back there, you know, by that oh, asshole. Sure. But it's just a little anal sauce just to get you prepared. Maybe you can, you know, oh, get okay. your next anal little lady. Massage. I've never done that. Yeah, so if you ever want to get your ass, do you like your booty lick? No, I don't know. Oh, I mean, it's okay to you. say you do if you do, though. It's a strange feeling. Oh, oh so you've had it done before? Not by request. Uh, oh, so did you like it when they did it? Uh, shit, um, no, it felt weird, cause like, what happened to me was this girl gave me head, and then she started licking my ass, and I was like, what are you doing? And I was like, she was like, that's my ass, I'm like, nah, girl, you got fucked up, she did it, but it, it kind of like, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, it didn't feel bad, but mm -hmm. it was real weird. Okay, well, so you will appreciate that massage. Okay, again, House of Hot Massage. Make sure you follow all her platforms down below. I'm going to leave that down there for y'all to see. Thank you so much, Toya. We appreciate you, baby. Thanks, Toya. Oh. Hey, you didn't leave me a number. I need your number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need a butt neck massage. She can get a butt neck massage. No, I'm not Oh, she say not butt neck massage. I'm thinking worth something that. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you, Toya. We appreciate you. Again, make sure you follow House of Hot. I'll make sure, again, to tag her below and follow on all platforms. 
Um, she's available in Houston, Texas, and of course available for travel. Okay, so let's move on to other things. So since you're over here smoking this stuff, do you like high sex or no? Well, yeah, I like high sex. Do you always have to be high when you have sex? I ain't said that'd be high, but it enhances everything, you know. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell us about a time where you were high, and you had sex, and maybe it was not a pleasure type of experience, like it didn't go um, well? Oh yeah, man. Um, shit, crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm in the club with my shorty. Mm -hmm. and I'm fucking with the time. Mm -hmm. We off the mollies. Mm -hmm. The mollies are popping. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So she comes, she like, yo, this girl about to come home with me. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, oh, she bring the girl. And the girl is a girl I already smashed before. <laughs> oh my God. I already smashed the girl before. <laughs> So we have mollies and shit. Mm -hmm. We take go take a shower. We all three get in the shower and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take a shower. Watch, watch so did, did y'all tell her yeah. that y'all had already? She ain't know. Oh my God. She ain't know. Me and they ish, as I tell y'all, they ain't ish. Okay? Continue. She ain't know. Mm. She ain't know. I'm like, yeah, if I tell her that we smashed, right. they end up having two women in one night. <laughs> oh my right God. Man. Right. So, we in the shower, we washing off and shit. And. It was crazy because at one moment when my girl at that time turned mm -hmm. her back, the girl was like, I just came so I can fuck you. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you not still with this girl, huh? Nah, hell no. Nah. So did you ever tell her? She probably, she watching right now. She girl, probably. I know you just heard him, girl. We she know don't, niggas don't know. ain't ish, okay? Yeah. Oh, so she ain't gonna know which one is what. Check this out now. Now check this out now. We get in the room. And she started, uh, the, uh, she, she in the room. They started, I guess my girl started eating her pussy. Mm -hmm. And I started fucking my girl from the back, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And after that, they switched up. The girl started eating my girl pussy. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking the girl from the back. Mm -hmm. Hi. Mm -hmm. My girl at the time kicks me in my stomach. Boom! I'm like, oh, shit. I'm high, but my put my dick right back in the old girl. Like, ugh, start fucking her again. Kick me again. Boom! She like, you fucking cheating on me. I'm like, what? I'm like, you brought this girl home? We brought this threesome, like, right? She was like, my baby daddy, he ain't do that. When I brought a girl home, he just let me, like, us fuck, he just fuck Right, me. right. And that was crazy, like, so she got up and she's like, y'all can finish what y'all doing, whatever, we do, whatever. She went down on the couch and shit and lay down and shit. I'm just sitting there like, hi. <laughs> oh my God, I so. Girl, like, bitch, let's get this on real quick. Oh my, me so and I had, get you old, I had to convince the old girl just to go in, in the room and lay on the couch and tell my girl to come back in and try to fuck her because my dick still all them high and fuck it. She trying to bust it down and shit. And so that's how it ended? That's how it ended. Crazy. Baby, what? Okay, well, we hear yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay, I hope you watching so you can hear everything he just said and hopefully she'll know exactly what, what like what girl this was, right? She will not know. She'll be, she'll know. She'll be like, oh, okay, I don't get that shit. Ain't that so? She kicked me in the stomach. Oh, yeah. So, remember, you kicked him in the stomach, so you know exactly when that was and who that was. That's fucked up. Yeah. Mm, shit. Okay, so, why don't you tell us about your most... Hmm. Tell us about your worst sexual experience ever. Like, it was just horrible. Like, you can't believe it. Like, what? This shit is not even real. That's some bad pussy. Okay. There ain't really no such thing as bad pussy. You got to work with it. You know what I'm saying? Real. What? Nah, I ain't never heard no man say that. Y'all heard him say, ain't no such thing as bad pussy. Bad you got to just work with it. You got to work with what you got to work with. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm trying to think of some bad pussy I had. Uh, but it ain't got to just be that. It can be anything. It can just be the <laughs> worst sexual experience ever. Like, you ever had a female that just did not know what she was doing, like, when she was giving you head? Uh, I've had girls, like, I'm going to say my worst experience with girls with uh, sex, I would say when they get too drunk. You don't like drunk sex with females? No, I'm saying when they get, like, obliterated to the point to where they got to stop while you fucking go throw up and shit. <laughs> you don't like them to throw you know up doing sex? Like, no, don't stop in the middle of sex and go throw up and shit. Then throw up on you? It, not throw up on me. You know, I'm fucking you like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm thinking about the cup. You like, run to the bathroom and shit and throw up. I'm like, oh, right. I'm like, nothing. Like, you know that they have a fetish out there. People love people to throw up on them when they have having sex. Not me. 
What? Yeah, I, see, I'm that kind that when I get drunk, yeah, I'm just, I'm dead weight or I can yeah. have sex when I'm drunk, but just leave me alone when I'm super drunk because it's just yeah. not a good sight. It's horrible. That's just my thing. It's real horrible. Okay, so how long do you like to have sex? Do you, are you, do you like to have sex for a long period of time or just like a well, few minutes? Okay, let's say like a good session is anywhere between, for me, is like 20 to 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. Session. Mm-hmm. 20, 45 yeah, minutes. Depending on, you know what I'm saying, like, what y'all doing, what's going on, you know, we trying to show out, you might get a good, nice little 45, <laughs> nice long 45. So is that rounds, or is that just one round? The 45 is one round. Right. You know what I'm saying, like, you getting the 20 to 45, that's one round. Right. Like, boom, boom. Right. You know what I'm saying, and, you know, hey, shit, if we on that type of tip to where we, like, Right. If we just fucking to get this up out of us. Right. This, I call right. it a demon. Right. Demon, right. Drain this motherfucker out. Right. Right. Then shit, we about to go at it again. We right. Next, you know, I said an hour or so. We just laying around, laying around. Right. Five minutes, 30, 45. Right. Hour or so. We gonna right. Go at it again. Right. Until, until, until we pass out, go to sleep. And shit, we tired of doing that. So shit. you okay with quickies? Uh, quickies. Man, I, don't I don't like quickies. I don't, yeah, I don't, really like, I don't like them quickies, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They don't really get the, they don't get the demon out. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, they be like, ugh, bitch. Right. Like, ugh, right. Man, that's it. Right. Man, right. 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 I need to, to build up. Right. Like, right. Ooh, right. Man, Look at him, y'all. You know I need to build up. You know what I'm saying? So like, you seem like you may be a freak, so what? Man, the quickies don't, they don't do it. I don't right. Know what I'm saying. Why don't you tell us the most freakiest thing you've ever done? I, did. I feel like it's gonna be something off the wall you tell us. Man, shit. It's a whole lot of shit to be this kind of freaky. Ooh, tell us the most uh, freakiest one. I don't know. People, I'll be hearing people all the time do like freaky shit. Like, it'd be like some crazy type shit that people do. Mm -hmm. um, but I remember I used to like. It wasn't like freaky, it was like, for me, it was like having sex in certain kind of places. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what's the I most? To, I used to go to like my neighbor's uh, yard and have sex in their yard. Like in the daytime? Yeah, like in the daytime and shit. Would it, anybody be home? No, nobody be home. <laughs> oh my God, I've never heard that. Y'all wouldn't be scared to have cameras or something. Uh -huh. But I guess that's the spontaneous part. Yeah, it was scary like that, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Right. But it's more like how I am, you know what I'm saying? Right. have sex in like. Random ass place. Right, right. But I remember one time, man, I had sex in the car mm -hmm. while I was driving. Mm. And that's probably some freaky ass shit. It ain't dangerous. It was, it, was, it was dangerous. That's why it was freaky. <laughs> like, I'm riding, with this, I'm riding with this chick. We drunk. Right. That's why I used to drink. We drunk. Right. We riding. Right. She might pull your dick out. I think she about to suck this motherfucker. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I pulled the dick out. She started sucking my dick. Then she pull her skirt up and she tried to jump on my shit. She right. On my shit. Right. Drive it. Right. I can't even see. <laughs> I'm like, yo. I'm like, damn, that shit feel good. Y'all was in a car or a truck? I was in a truck. Right. And I'm driving. I'm like, this, I'm driving. I'm in an F 150. Right. It's like a, uh, I think it's like an 03 F 150. Right. Like right. Like I'm driving. I'm swerving. We riding down 470. Right. In the city. She fucking me and shit. <laughs> I'm riding and shit. I swear Risking it all, y'all. Man, shit. I, I ain't finished. Right. It's right there. Oh, it went straight in the pocket. So you say y'all didn't finish? No, we finished at home. All right. Scared, you weren't scared? No. Man, that shit was kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Like, I remember I was like swerving. Like, oh, I couldn't see nothing. Mm -hmm. And we was driving. And I was like, it was wild. It was <laughs> that was probably the one of the craziest things. Right. Like, okay, so. In a truck while I was driving. Exactly. Like, the movies? Right. They make it look easy. <laughs> it do be there. easy. Tom Cruise is like, right. oh, I'm fucking here. Wait, so do, in the movies, yeah. you, are they really driving? Or are they just, because you know how they be having to set up to make it look like they're yeah, driving, they but they're they not. Just doing this. Right. While they're driving, going right. 80 miles an hour. Right. Oh, they ain't that easy. <laughs> No, it's really not. Right. Especially we had a few shots. Right. Oh, and yeah, you did. Oh, Wait, you was it scary. nighttime? It was nighttime. Oh, hell it no, y'all. Yeah, this, this, uh, this was my shit. Shout oh, out. no, y'all was risking it all. Yeah. Shout she, out to who? She was a squirter, too. She was my, she was like my first technical squirter. So you like squirters? Yeah, that's how I wanted to squirt the porn. That's my thing. Oh, okay. That's my okay. thing. Okay, squirting porn. Yeah. So how you like to make them squirt? 
Um, Listen, usually, ladies. I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I've had, I say, it's a couple ways I've done it myself. Mm -hmm. I've done it, like, orally. Mm -hmm. like, giving girls oral sex. Right, right, right. And uh, I've done it, you know, with my dick or whatever. Right. Um, I think some of them is just, I think a lot of girls squirt. Mm -hmm. But they just don't know. They don't know how. Yeah. How to squirt or they feel embarrassed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cause I didn't hit girls that squirt. Mm -hmm. I know for sure they squirt. Right. And I didn't hit them again. Right. And they didn't squirt that time, and she'd be like, she'll say some shit like, "Yeah, I wanted to squirt, but I ain't." But yeah, yeah, it's a mental thing. Mm-hmm. She'll say some shit. I know this girl squirt. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, um, it's really like just a girl for real, cause like all of them don't know their bodies and shit. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, it's a mental thing. Yeah. Uh, like, like she that girl was my first squirter. Mm hmm. And it's like different levels of them mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. uh, like her, like you gotta find a position. Mm -hmm. Some of them like a certain position. You know right, right, right. Like with, with this particular one, it was mainly it was doggy style. And mm -hmm. she had the leg up, mm -hmm. like, hitting that right there. Mm -hmm. like, it's gonna come. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, uh, but then I know another girl that was a squirter. It mm -hmm. was crazy. I went to this, I went to this club mm -hmm. and met like five squirters at this club. <laughs> I was like. It was a they swingers here. club? No, it was a regular club. A regular club. club. You somebody they here. No, not here. Y'all, they over here. <laughs> like, like, like her, like I knew one girl that you just, penetration. Right, right. Right, right. Right, right. Right, like, right. Anybody probably would have made her squirt. Like, there was no oh my God. method to right. doing this. You right. know what I'm saying? Because all you had to do is stick some dick up there and just. Right. She going to do like this. Oh, push her stuff, push her stomach. She do like this. Ooh, push this motherfucker. And then she just. <laughs> you, you think know, about it. Yeah, and then <laughs> and you got some of the ones that squirt that you got some of the other ones that already squirt. Mm -hmm. They be like, before you fuck them, they be like, get a town. You already right. Because they already know. They already know. Right, so, right. So, that, that, that. then you got the ones that, like, you literally gotta just, just mm -hmm. get they shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I had one like that, and she was crazy because, like, she used to, it was crazy because she used to squirt all over the place. Mm -hmm. You just gotta look at that her. She, she got like fucking her eyes is like she got mascara right now and shit. <laughs> yes, like, it was intense. Like, like, yeah, it was intense. I'm fucking Michelle. Right. She she nut. Intense. She busting nut and then she, she nut, and she'd still be mad. Like, right. Like, oh, baby, she a I'm beast. Like, yeah, she was a beast for real. <laughs> she was like, no, she was a beast for real. Like, mm. she literally was like, right. She like, I'm trying to fit. Dick in the balls, all in my mouth. Everything. I'm like, she was like that eater, like for real. She was a straight eater, though. Mm -hmm. um, but right, yeah, like different girls. But like, I just say like, you just gotta like find out mm -hmm. what they like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, most girls squirt and just find out what they like. Right, right. Saying. So tell us, do you have any fetishes? Uh, shit. So it's like squirting. That's probably your main one. Main one. That's the number one. That's it. So, do you have any sexual fantasies that you have yet lived that you would love to? Um. Or if you have, what was your fantasy and how did it go down? My fantasy. I don't know. I don't really like playing no shit. I'm just a. But you don't have nothing in your head. It's um, like something you wanted to do sexually you have not done yet. Man, that's like, I just feel like you say that, like, it's, it's going to be cliche. I'm just going to pick, like, I'm going to be like, man, shit, let me have a threesome with a motherfucker making good and making a stuff. So that would be your, yeah, but like a. Uh, make a movie out of it and shit. So that would be yeah. your, that would be your fantasy. Yeah, making good, making a stallion, featuring me. So both Megan's and you. Yeah. So two Megan's and a Gerald. Yeah. Um, okay. Saying. Well, y'all heard him making a stallion. You call it a good stallion porno. A good stallion. Coming to a theater, a swingers theater near. No, 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 no. Make over there. Oh my God, he played too much. Yes, I think you would. Yeah, making a good like you know making a stallion. Are you gonna look into it? I'm hitting making good from the back. You gonna look into it? They should look into it, not me. He said he the prize. What y'all think? What y'all think? He the prize? That's what he said. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a few questions from this little card game that I have here. Okay, so how do you feel about being tied up? Um, 
Yeah, depending on what you're doing when talking. No, I don't like being talking because man, they were talking. I'm ticklish a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time. So you don't like your nipples being man, sucked on it? I don't do all that shit because like, I gotta be at the. Cause you, oh, cause somebody tie you up. Right. Yeah, that, 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 bro, that ain't no play. You talking about? <laughs> like, you can't do anything. Like, kids, she's playing with your anal. You can't do nothing about this. Right, shit. right. Like, man, what the fuck? You right. Know? You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right. Okay, okay well, he don't like that. But you don't mind tying them up? I'll tie her up because I ain't going to do the I'm going to tie her up. Yeah, I don't like to be tied up because I need to have control of this. Yeah. And then I know what's best for us and no. Tying like, a girl up is kind of fun because they like, especially when you like getting them, mm-hmm. they can't mm-hmm. move your head. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Shit. You ever tie somebody up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like it? Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay, so. Our coach did that shit too. He liked it, but he did the wrong way. So, did you, so do you like to piss on women? Nah. No? Nah. But they can piss on you. Not just squirt, yeah. but can they piss on you? Nah. Like stand on top of you and piss on you? Nah. No. So you wouldn't drink their piss? Nah. Mm, okay. Okay, so do you think it's okay to fantasize about other people during sex with your significant other? And have you? And why did you? Um, I never fantasize about nobody else while I'm having sex with anybody. Never? No, nah, I usually like, if I'm ever like trying not to bust a nut, I might think about, like, I got a trade. Like, I don't know if you watch sports, you mm-hmm. know, a trade machine. Mm-hmm. So when I'm trying not to nut, I just do a trade machine. I just put NBA teams in my head and start trading players in my head, start trading people. <laughs> it's like my method of not busting nut. I'll be thinking about that. I'll be like, Lakers need to trade this person. And you do that every time. Yeah. Well, if I'm trying to keep my focus, you know what I'm saying? Like, OG told me to just look at the spot on the wall, but I'm like, the spot on the wall is not working. So how you came up with trying to do trading? Because an OG told me to look at a spot on the wall, and the spot on the wall is not working. He's like, man, look on the spot on the wall. Tell that book. Yeah. I'm like, man, how you gonna look at the spot? The, just look at the spot on the wall and just. I'm like, <laughs> but so clearly it works for you. Oh my! And how long you been doing that? Huh? How long you been doing this? Uh, for a while, pretty much. That's and so it works, though. Yeah. Okay. What sexual position do you enjoy the most? Like your favorite position? Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say, man. I'm just going to say, like, I like it, like, my other from the back of this is the, like, con from the side. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Like, she, like, on the bed. Like right, right, up, right. Like her leg like this. Mm-hmm. Her ass right here. Mm-hmm. Clear all that up. Like lift that part up. Just... And then you just go in. Yeah. So you like rough sex or just slow? Sometimes. Yeah. Depends, like, Who it is and yeah, the energy. I'm just it is all depends. Like right. It might start off like you know how she said the dog is kind of slow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Depends on what kind of mood you're in. Right. Right. Like, you know, yeah, I agree. You could be in the mood just to be and doing some missionary and just kissing and shit. It could, yeah, it's all about the vibes. I tell people that because some people don't, some people don't like to go fast, some people don't like to go slow. I think it's just all about the person, the vibe, the energy, and like the environment of what's going on as well. Yeah. You know. Okay, so what do you think about period sex? Um, I'm a vampire. Okay, you like a little scene. crime scene, y'all. Ain't no, nothing wrong with a little exactly. crime scene. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not against it. Right. I'm saying like, I ain't like yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not like trying to like force it. That's the best but, time to have sex. But like, I've, I've done it before. Right. Like, put a towel down. Right. It ain't as bad as you really think it. People think it is. Right. It's more of a mental thing. Right. So do you eat it while it's bleeding? No. no. But why not? Because no. the clit is not bleeding. Yeah, but I. It, but the clit is not bleeding though. This is a thought of just being. No, I, I, I but you just made it seem like that it's not so I mean, bad. It's not that bad when you're doing it like sex is like it feels good, but like you know what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. I like my steak medium well. Not medium well, y'all. Okay, so what's your favorite physical feature on a female and why? You like hips? Why? Because it's like, they look good, whether they, whether it's from the front. For the back. I might say look from the front or the back. 
Okay, so after extremely bad sex, the person you just had sex with just asked you, how was it? What did you say? Um, would you hurt their feelings or would you tell them the truth? Because me, I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm going to be like, baby, look, you was not just dropping dick off like you said you was, okay? But let me tell you what, you know, we can't do to make it seem like you was dropping man, dick off. Like, man, it's kind of hard for that because, like... Really? I'm trying to, like, make it, like, something. So usually, like, if your sex is trash, you got to be like, I'm trying to make it somebody who has trash. So. <laughs> oh, my God. What? So would you tell them? He got a thing on that one, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you don't have to sex with him. I just didn't have sex with him. Yeah, that's what some people say that they they just won't have sex with them no more. But mm -hmm. I would because I'm gonna give you another chance. But I'm gonna sit you down and talk to you about mm -hmm. you know what I didn't like and let's I'll make give this you a happen. Chances, yeah, I'll give you a couple chances. Right. After a while, I was like, you just over it. No, I just don't meet no right white girls. Right. Like, Okay, so with you being a funny guy, um, again, y'all make sure y'all follow him on all the socials back here. We have the TikTok, YouTube, and his IG. Everything is back there, Gerald Hudson. So tell Houston. us with Houston, y'all. He ain't got the, the O in there. Y'all know this is Houston. He ain't got the O, so Hudson to me, but Houston to him. Okay, so with you being a funny guy and all that, trying to make people laugh and all that, are you funny when you fucking? My are you trying to be funny. serious? Like, do you make jokes yeah, and jokes like, can fucking. you be taken serious when you fucking? I mean, like, you know how to turn it on and turn it off. Yeah, I've never had nobody laughing while you fucking. So you don't try to make jokes when you fucking. Hmm? Or do they just they don't just uh, start laughing like they just can't take you serious? No, I've never done that. Never at all. No. Nah. Okay. You don't make jokes when you fucking. I mean, it could sound funny because if you think if you think I'm funny, and you think about me, just <laughs> take this motherfucker. Then they gonna probably go you. back to think about how crazy funny, funny he is. They gonna bust out laughing. Know. The girl ain't laughing. <laughs> somebody else in there, so they might be laughing. <laughs> You'll probably just be laughing at him like this fool is crazy. Okay, so have you ever faked the orgasm? And tell us about the time you have. Yeah, I just can't remember what girl it was. Um, so it's, it hasn't been often? Yeah, it hasn't been one time. Like one time. So I know a lot of men, they go into the shower or go and get one nut out before they, you know, get ready to have sex. Are you one of those kind of men? Or you just wait to just do it all with that person? No, I don't want to jack it off sometimes. Like, you don't? Like even when you're alone? Like jack it off make you like it. When you jack off, like it, it take my, it make me, you know, I don't, I love to just get some pussy. I don't, I don't do none of that either because I get angry because I'm like, okay, yeah, now nah, I need some of this. And he, that person ain't here. So yeah, like it just makes me real mad. So I don't even be caring to do it. That's crazy. If I jack off, I got to jack off. If I know I ain't about to get no pussy, then yeah, I might jack off. Right. I know I'm getting no pussy. I'm right. Off, the pussy feels better. Right. And I think if, when you jack off, it takes away from the value. Right. Of the pussy when you do get it. Right. I didn't check out two days ago. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, so. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Okay, so. Well, you told us this one already. Yeah, you told us some good little stuff. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so since you like to watch squirting porn, do you like to watch porn with a partner? Or you don't like to. Because, like, I like to. I like just for the noises in the background. I mean, I don't. I don't have to watch porn. Right. With the person. Right. Unless she was like in the watch porn with me. So right. It's like kind of a neutral thing. Right. It's not, it's not pushing on her. Like, right. Porn with right. Me. Right. Right. Nothing like that. Right. So, have you ever. How many women have you had sex with in one day? Well, that's the two part question. So. <laughs> well, look, I ain't looking, y'all. Look. So, how many Man. women. Wait, hold on. It's two different parts. So we want to know how many women have you had sex with all at one time, and how many women have you had sex with all in one day, separate times? Oh, you get it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I had three, so that's two women. Okay. And I had sex with like three girls in one day. 
Mm -hmm. So how'd you do that? I love to hear when people tell me they had sex with multiple people in one day. Because I've heard men tell me, it's been a man one time, he told me he didn't take showers at all in between. He didn't have the time. So tell me, what was your situation? And how did that come about? My situation was easy. Um, it was easy. Because mm -hmm. uh, I lived with one of them. Mm -hmm. And then the other one used to come to the house that I lived at with the other one. So I hit So you was cheating? Go ahead. That's not what it's called. Okay, okay. Being a man, that's what it's called. Go ahead. Um, so basically, black men don't cheat. Oh, okay. So Lies. She wasn't there. She was at work. Okay, so, like that makes a big difference. Like what? She was at work. Okay, so it makes a big difference. <laughs> Excuse me, my bad. Kid, so, okay. Like I hit her, and then the other girl came over, which happened to my baby mama. <laughs> she got hit, and then the other girl. I went to my homeboy house and hit her later on that night. Then I had to still come back and hit my girl. Hit her. Do she do she know any of this ever happened? Mm -hmm. Sure. Good. Uh, See, look, they know about the result. Right. Oh, now it don't matter. No, so, so how would you feel if that happened to you? If your girl did that to you? If the same girl did that? If yeah, if a female did that to you. She probably did it. Had sex with you, then invited another man into y'all home and sex with him, and then went had sex with somebody. It, how would you feel if that happened to you? If you found that out that your girl did that, I'm gonna be like, you a hoe? Oh, because you was one when you did it. No, 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 no. Oh, please explain. I was not a hoe. I was out here. Sometimes girls, they got needs. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, for real. Like, Instead of this girl putting all these miles on her pussy to search for the type of whatever vibe, orgasm, whatever she wants, then it's better for me to give her an orgasm or whatever she needs versus her out here just searching and putting miles so on her pussy. So why you think you got to go and save him? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, it's not saving nobody. It's not saving anybody. Not saving well, why you got to step in and go do all that? No, nah, because it's, it's like, I think it's like humanitarian work. Oh, that's what it is. So you, could you ever see yourself being with just one woman for the rest of your life? Yeah, definitely. But that woman have to have like threesomes and stuff with nah. you? So you could just be with one pussy for the rest of your life? Yes. So at what age and when do you think you're going to do that? Uh, oh, shit. I'm doing that. I want to. Mm -hmm. But matter, would like, but what will it take for you to get to that mind frame of doing that? Because um, you know some men just not ready. It it's gonna take really them a while. It takes a girl that's just ready just to ride for you with somebody. Who just, right. Like somebody who just like they like your friend. And right. They, right. Like I don't know. Like dudes be knowing like this. Like, right. That's part. You right. Right. Like, we fuck with you. If a nigga ain't fucking with you off the flip. Then mm -hmm. He fuck with you. Right. You right. Know? I agree. I agree. Okay, well, we just want to get into your little business a it little may, it bit. It may last, it may not last. It could, be, it could be three months, it could be three years. You know relationships don't last no motherfucking way, so. Well, yeah, so I feel like people don't have relationships. Get together, like, you know what, hey, looking forward to seeing you have a happy three years. <laughs> what? On Facebook. You know what uh, so what's the longest you've had a relationship? Like, how long did it last? How long did it last? Like three years. Like three years, so that was the longest. Okay, well, I'm glad you came on here to, you know, I know some people don't see this side of you. You know, they see their funny side and all that. So we oh, just yeah. wanted to get up in your business and all that. You want to tell everyone what you have going on next? What's the latest? Uh, after this, I'm trying to go. Um, I don't know. You don't know. I, well, I heard a little something through the grapevine about, yeah. you know, a little wild and out or something. What's wild that little rumor going wild, on? Man, that's just like, we trying to get on our Right, right. Y'all know y'all need him. Get him on while or not. We, we trying to get on here, but like, if we, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, if it happens, it happens. It happens but it happens, yeah, it's, it's more opportunities happen. out there than just that, but it'd be good to get it. So, yeah. okay. Well, again, make sure y'all follow Gerald yeah, follow Hudson. On, uh, Instagram, Houston. <laughs> 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 not now, it's Houston. Yeah.
there. <laughs> so, wait, make sure y'all follow Gerald. Y'all know I'm going to say Hudson because he ain't got the O in there. This is Houston. He in Houston. But, okay, Gerald Houston. Make sure y'all follow Gerald Houston on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and other platforms. Uh, shit. We said TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube. Facebook. Facebook, all that. Just go to his Instagram. It's going to have everything on there. Again, we appreciate you. Child support office. Child, child support as well. Okay. You need some donations. Cash at me. Cash app him, y'all. What's your cash app? My cash app is uh, hashtag uh, <laughs> funny as drill. Oh, Lord. Okay. Again, Fancy Freaks, I love y'all so much. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, and comment this video, and I will see y'all next time. I love y'all, Fancy Freaks. Bye.